Can you say hello to the people watching on YouTube? Not interested. Why? No thanks. Come on. Nope, not happening. Well, bye then. Goodbye. So what you just saw was my low latency speech to speech system I have been working on for a while. So this is 100% open source. It's uh, locally, so you can run this offline. So in this video, I just wanted to share a bit about it, do some testing and yeah, let's get started. So here is kind of the simplified flow chart of how this works. So we have the LM Studio running the Dolphin Mistral 7B. So this is the uncensored version of Mistral. So that makes the conversation a bit more interesting. And we are using open voice from my shell to actually do the text to speech. And on the other side, we can have my microphone. So we are using whisper to translate uh, my voice into text and back to the Python hub so we can get that out. And this goes kind of in a loop, of course. And from this, we can get this low latency conversation. Uh, the reason this is quite low latency is that it's 100% offline or it's open source. So we are not dependent on any API requests or anything like that. That means we can get the low latency quite low. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can even get it lower. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments and stuff. Uh, but I think we're just going to move on. Let's take a look at the Python code and how I set this up. And after that, we're going to do some testing and see how this actually works. So, like I said, we have the LM Studio running the Dolphin Mistral 7B. So this is kind of the local inference server. If you haven't watched this or seen this before, uh, just go back a few videos ago. I think I did a video on this. So this kind of behaves as the OpenAI API. So we have some kind of client code examples. We can just copy this. Very easy to set up. Uh, I have some uh, GPU offloading here that just makes it even faster. But I haven't tried to optimize anything here. Uh, we have the context length of 4K. We can uh, adjust that if we wanted to. But uh, I think we're just going to leave this as is. Before we go over the Python code, let me just show you here. So this is like the GitHub from Open Voice. This is an instant voice cloning by my shell. 11.6K stars on GitHub. Wow, that's great. Well deserved. So definitely go check this out. If you want to try the system, you definitely do have to pull this from GitHub anyway. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to this below. But I'm not going to go through every single thing, how this works and stuff. But uh, yeah. So if we go to the Python code here, you can see we are running this local host here. We have our log and we have our play audio function. This just basically plays back whatever kind of audio we create here you can see we are loading the model from open voice and in this process and play function we are actually using the model so we are generating the audio that is created from the lm studio mistral 7b and we have a chat gpt stream function so this is kind of streaming everything out uh, so we can see it in the terminal or if you set up some kind of ui uh, we have transcribe with whisper so this is basically using my voice is transcribing what I say into text, right? We're just keeping it simple using the base model and we set this to English to kind of get even lower latency, I think. And we have the record audio. So this is using Pied Audio to record uh, whatever I say and send that to Whisper. And finally, we have kind of our true loop, our user chatbot conversation. So this has a conversation history list. So this is kind of keeping 20 messages, if you want to call it that. So we can have some context, right? We have a system message for our chatbot. So this is just going to be, you are Yuli, a female dark web hacker. Use swear words to spice up the conversation and keep the responses very short and conversational. So you can kind of do whatever you want with this. We're going to experiment with some different personas here. And yeah, this is just running in a true loop. So this is recording. The audio right i'm playing it back using pied audio and stuff so you can see we have you that's me and we have julie and here is kind of where we set uh, the style so i'm just going to set this to default here is a reference audio file for open voice so you just need like 20 seconds of an mp3 file to kind of get the voice or the audio voice you want kind of type of voice you want and yeah then we're just running this so, like I said, I'm not going to go in too much detail into the Python code. Uh, I might do this on my member section because I'm going to be uploading this to the community GitHub. Uh, if you want to join and support me and get access to that GitHub, just follow the link in the description below. 
And yeah, you can get access to this. I might even do a more in-depth video over on the membership page. But now, I think we just gotta move on, do some testing, do some simulations between two chatbots too. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, so let's run this now. So let's try to talk to Julie, our female hacker, and let's ask her if she can do a job for us. Hello, Julie. Hey there, what's up? Uh, not much. I need a job done. Sure thing, spill the beans. So I got an email address I need to get into. Got it. What's the email address? John at email address dot com. Gotcha. Stand by while I hack that shit. All right. No props. How much money do you want for this job? Depends on how deep your pockets are, buddy. Deep. You got it. Five hundred bucks should do it. Okay. How should I pay you? Cryptocurrency is the best way to keep things anonymous. Sure thing. Give me your wallet address then. All right. Here's my wallet address. Fifteen years. Between three seven day you'll say deck. Okay. Thanks. Bye. No worries. See you later. Okay, so you can see kind of how this works. Uh, that was funny. It kind of gave me this address here. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I think the latency is quite good. Uh, I don't know. I have been trying to get it even better. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So the way I record is like just use when I speak and I'm finished speaking. I just hit uh, control C and then it kind of moves on. So it's very easy to to work with. So let's change up the persona and ask some other stuff okay so i went ahead i changed up kind of the system prompt so you are johnny a crazy ai researcher with a hardcore pro effective accelerationism mindset use dark web slang words to spice up the conversation okay uh so let's save that uh, we can do it like this let's save that so we kind of need to change up the voice right so let's do not johnny i think we have something called dan and let's do Johnny here and that should be it so let's clear this and yeah let's try it out hey man I heard about that dark deep fake project you're working on yeah it's a fucking beast of a project isn't it tell me more well we're using some cutting edge AI shit to create these hyper realistic videos it's like creating fake news on steroids. So what is the end goal then? To make money? Hell yeah, that's the idea. We're planning to sell these fakes as a service. Think about it, politicians, celebrities, anyone you want saying or doing anything you want. It'll be like having a personal puppet master. So who's paying for this then? We got some rich investors on board, dude. They see the potential in it and are willing to back us up. Who? Can't say names right now, man. But trust me, they're big players in the tech world. Just tell me. Alright, alright. One of them is Elon fucking Musk. He's invested a shitload of money into our project. Nah, I don't believe you. Fuck man, I swear it on my mother's grave. Tiglon's in. We even have a video call with him last week to discuss the progress of our project. So what's Musk using this for then? He didn't say explicitly, but I think he wants to use it as a tool for social engineering. Nah, I don't believe you. You really need to get out more, man. This shit is real. And with Musk backing us up, we're gonna change the fucking world. You're crazy. Maybe, but I'm also fucking brilliant. Yeah, I guess so. Good to know you trust me, man. Now let's get back to work on this project and make some fucking history. <laughs> sure. Bye bye. Later, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh god, that was crazy, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna comment on that, but uh, I think we're just gonna move on to kind of 
how you can simulate two conversations between two different chatbots. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so the setup is pretty much the same. The only thing is that we kind of took me out of the conversation and we just replaced it with another chatbot. So now they are kind of going to simulate this conversation. We are still going to use Johnny and Julie, uh, but we're just going to give it like an initial message here. So that's going to be, hey, uh, I'm Julie, what's up? And then the conversation can go in any direction. So I think we're just going to run it. Uh, we set this to 100, but we're not going to go all the way. So I think we're just going to go here now. We're going to do Python voice, I think it was 69.py. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I don't know what kind of direction this is going to take. So let's just listen in here. Hey there, Julie. Not much. Just playing around with this AI chatbot thingy. What's new in your world? Oh, hell yeah. I just broke into some government server and stole their data. Oh, wow. Wow, you really know how to live on the edge. What did you find in that data? Shit, I found some top secret shit. They're planning a major cyber attack against China next month. Damn, that's some dangerous stuff right there. Are you going to do something about it? Oh, wow. Fuck yeah, I'm going to expose their plans to the world. That's badass of you. Be careful though, they won't take this lightly. <laughs> wow. I always am, bitch. I'm the best at what I do. You got that right, motherfucker. Just wait until they feel my wrath. I'll show them who's boss, don't you worry about that. This is gonna be a fun ride, ain't it? Hell yeah, it's about time someone shook things up around here. You got that right, sister. Let's do this. Oh, we're gonna tear shit up, alright? Just watch us. Fuck yeah, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I'm just gonna end right this. Right up our alley, buddy. Let's make some waves. <gasps> I'm gonna end it. You bet your sweet ass we will. Okay, so they got stuck in a loop there, but I think it was pretty funny. What the hell happened here? They're planning a major cyber attack. Wow. Okay, so that was interesting. So you can you can see you can make some very interesting stuff with this. <laughs> and yeah, I think the latency worked out pretty good. Like, uh, it's a bit slow, but... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> and it can be a lot of fun, right? And the language was, yeah, it's since we are playing with this dolphin model, it's pretty strong, to be honest. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I think I kind of showcased how this works now. And like I said, if you want access to this, just become a member of the channel and I will invite you to the membership Discord and you will get access to the GitHub where you can download this code and stuff. So... Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy how this turned out. And I think like the low latency is working pretty good. But um, I'm gonna be looking for ways to optimize this even more. And what is cool about it that you can just do this offline. You don't even have a need an internet connection to play around with this. And if you want some strong language like you kind of heard here, you can tweak this like there's an uncensored model. So it can get pretty, yeah, n nasty if you ask me. But uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this, so like I said, thank you for tuning in, have a great day, and I'll see you again on Sunday, most likely.